Syracuse was an 84-71 winner at home against Virginia Tech. Huntley Hatfield, Malik Brown get us started. Terrific crew tonight. Ron Gruber, Mark Schnur, and Jerry Heater on the whistle. Brown running Huntley Hatfield. Here is Brandon working inside on a double team and score. That's all that is. If you're Malik Brown, you had help coming from the baseline side. Jump up on top. Make him spin into that help. Bell the fall away. There you go. On cue from Oglesby. Syracuse is a better transition team, Terrence, and I think they get credit for it. When you have two guards that can take off like that and read the opposite side. Caleb Glenn. Louisville's junkyard dog. You put yourself in position. You front. Help side's a little late. Throw in the first half. Against they Carolina and Chapel Hill. They didn't make a bucket in the second half for about 12 minutes. On the drive here is Mintz. Can't get there. Rebounded by Clark. Here's White with a pass. First basket for White. That's Sky Clark making things happen. And Trey White understanding if I run the lane, I'm going to be able to get opportunities. Taylor with a right hand. Tough shot. He made it. Averages less than three and a half and three in the league. And that ball deflected by Taylor and fires ahead for Bell. Oh, Chris Bell turns it over for his second field goal. He's got six. Live ball turnovers will kill you, Wes. First, Chris Bell, little windmill. That have the individual talent that both of these squads do. Kind of a half windmill by Bell. And here's Taylor with another steal. And he's going to dunk it home and draw the foul. Justin Taylor, he said, what you can do, sir, I can do almost as good. Let me get an and one real. Kids want to play for the orange. Here's White working around. Starling for the bucket. Second field goal for Trey White. Put it in the hands of the guy who can dial it up. There he is. Step back three over the top of Clark for Judah Mintz. If he's able to do that, Wes, I don't know how you defend it. How good he is off the bounce is just a little size up, and you have to respect his ability to get to the cup. We'll step back and pull. Did play a minute in the regular season meeting at uh, Syracuse back on February 7th. Huntley Hatfield to work. Wow, strong move with the right hand. And, and that's not Malik Brown. That's Justin Taylor on the backside. And give help with that double team. Taylor has to know that, that that's coming. What a pretty pass there. Brown, the basket, his first, Terrence. And with a six-point lead, here's the orange again, and Bell tees up a three. Chris Bell now with nine in this first half. I think he just banged knees with somebody. He's come up hobbling a little bit inside against Brown. Meanwhile, there goes Tyler Johnson flying through the air and gets the bounce for his first basket. Baseline drive, baseline drift, drives the middle. Tyler Johnson. Kick for James is three. That's another rebound. Look at the lead for Copeland. Quadir! Oh! oh no. Look out! Lost his shoe! <laughs> Jumped out of his shoe! Quadir Copeland. Let me get him from above the rim. My! Because he was the loudest guy at shoot around today by a country mile. Oh, yeah. Smart. Sky Clark with his first basket. And now under nine to go. It's a seven point lead again. Here's Mintz. Right to the basket and scores. A lot of contact. But he's very economical with his feet and how he attacks the bucket. Johnson slashing through score. Second field goal for the freshman from Brooklyn. Came in early. And, and the thing is, he has to learn to be patient. Plays very impatient right now. What a move. Mintz to the basket. A core four blocked it. Good chance started. Here's Clark all the way down. Kicks it back for Johnson. Miss badly. Now here's the run out for Judah Mintz with Johnson trailing and Mintz has his third field goal. Lead is nine. Clark the other way. They crash the glass and I think this is going to be on Copeland. Uh, some are beginning to wonder if Corey might be getting a letter jacket in wow. Carolina this year. Lob went wild. Recovered and scored by the freshman Glenn. Look at this. Unbelievable. Off the glass. That is incredible. That's Caleb Glenn just. They're almost going to give Johnson that straightaway three. Here's James with seven to shoot. Huntley Hatfield. And the rebound pulled away. And the stick back by Glenn. Seven for Glenn. Syracuse playing more zone towards the end of the year. Quite frankly, Coach Autry said it has everything to do with depth. And 
That's not one of them. <laughs> nice pass. Really nice pass. Three ball out of the corner by White. Mets kept it and put the ball on the floor before he stepped. Smart play. Pull up. Got it. That's where he's so good. 12 yep. to 15 feet. Elevates over the top. It feels like a pretty big 220 here for Louisville. Here is Bell. Oh! Mets to Brown for the hammer. Rotation uh, coming down on the other end. We're going to see a ball screen coming. Take an eye, keep an eye on number five, Brandon Huntley Hatfield on the baseline side. I know this is a tough angle. He's got to come over, follow the basketball. He's a day late and a dollar short. Starling back out there. He'll re rack back down the lane. High Archer over Huntley Hatfield. Good for JJ Starling. First field goal, he's got three. Plus, more look around the ACC. What's already been a busy day? There are. There's a drive and score by Mintz. Look at Starling over the top of Huntley Hatfield. It'll rim off. Brown tried to keep it alive and saved it, but to Louisville. Scott Clark with nine. Bounce pass Johnson. Right back, layup good, and it's James. ACC tournament, just so they leave no doubt. What a set. Look My at Mintz. Gosh. A hammer at the horn by Judah Mintz. How does that happen? Mintz has got 15 at the break. Luke Hancock needs to talk to his cards. You got to get back on D. Judah Mintz finishes it. Syracuse playing well. Here comes the orange the other way, and Mintz hits Brown, who can't finish it. Taylor saved it. Starling bangs a three. Into his sophomore season, realizing I don't have any options here. Mintz into traffic. Starling. Bell for three. It got partially blocked by James. Bell thought he was fouled. Here's a lead, and Glenn another catch at the glass and a score. Nine for Glenn on his fourth field goal. He doesn't have much of a jump shot, if any at all, and he just finds ways to impact the game with his effort. I love guys like that. Bell pulls up, knocks down the two. 11 for Bell. Knows what he's good at, plays defense. I'm a fan. Here's Glenn against Taylor and one. Caleb Glenn fouled by Justin Taylor. Boy, if the cards can get Mike James going, that would be a boost for Kenny Payne. Caleb Glenn's already off to a terrific start in the second half. There's an air ball from White. Huntley Hatfield saves it, but still tend to shoot. A tough shot and score for Trey White. A foul. Good effort, Huntley Hatfield. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling almost, Wes. Doesn't have to be pretty as long as you get those. You're going to find avenues to score. Trey White, so athletic around the cup. Nice pass. There's Brown to try and cut a 7-0 run. Brown and Chris Bell. The microphone surveying, surveying the floor. Look Whoa, at this. what a shot. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> He's talented, isn't he? The microphone. Look at this. Look at the inverse. One spin. And give me another one. A little finger roll. That's just silly. He was telling everybody in the building about it on the way back down. And James draws the foul. Mintz waits at the table for Adrian Autry. Here goes Copeland on the drive, stripped of it. Here's Clark. Lob, James the dunk. Chance, he's able to dig in, and Sky Clark, he'll throw it up to miss it. Mike James. Or no, ball got kicked, didn't it? Yep, ball got kicked. Here's James. Tend to shoot. Floater by Johnson. Huntley Hatfield's been quiet tonight. He scores on the stick back. Here's Copeland. Rolling on Johnson into traffic. Scores easily. It's a mismatch win, right? Lead to eight now for the Orange. Trying to win on the road for the third time in the league and the fourth time this year. And a three ball. Orange trying to win for the fourth straight time. They shot 57% the other night beating Virginia Tech. There's one knocked away from James. Here's transition roll again, and that is a scoring drive by Starling. There's the miss. And recovered at range by White. And that got blocked from behind by Bell. There goes Mintz, feeds Taylor up and under for the basket. Come on. White, pass for Huntley Hatfield, and he'll score. 
Still a 16-point deficit. Bell, a shot fake. And the three rattles in. Look out now. Here comes Bell. 10-0 run the last 90 seconds for the Cards. Mintz, nice pass. Brown couldn't finish it. James, the recovery. Here's Huntley Hatfield. Chris Bell, uh, I mean, really talented individual. 23 tonight now for Bell, and there's James, an easy bucket. Mike James now, 15 in the ball game. And a big, who's a lob threat. Double-double for Brown tonight. There's a three ball from Clark. Starling now in a seven-point game under three to go. Fights through, up off the glass and in. Tough shot. Starling off the screen, ran into trouble. Johnson with the turnover. Cards pitch it ahead. Clark the layup. Yeah, well, I can see why. Up nine and under two to go. He's been the best player in the building. Blocked by Taylor, scrambled for it, and recovered by Starling. Oh, uh, who dangerous. made it. Un Syracuse needs a three here and can't wait around. Huntley Hatfield uh -huh. off the glass. They haven't passed him the ball enough. I don't disagree with you. Uh, Seven point game, three possessions. Williams in the corner, Mike James a three. Oh! Duke and Virginia, the Orange will be 11 and 8. And Red Autry's team is going to win four straight, five of six, and six of eight. Terrence, there's Johnson. And the cards into the floor. His third field goal. And into Taylor and up for Mintz. And that will be that. The Orange have beaten the cards for the fourth straight time and for the sixth time in the last seven. And